The district is searching for substitute teachers. We'll have details next. Also on the broadcast, we'll have holiday assistance information and this past week's sports result. All this and more coming up on KFOI Weekly News. There is no better place than Lunar Bowl for your kid's birthday party. Lunar Bowl has youth birthday party options for as low as $99.95 for a party of six, including two hours of bowling, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and a lot more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your birthday party, call group sales manager Tina Short at 816-220-7722. That's 220-7722. On the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T UVerse Channel 99. I'm Tatiana Mata. And I'm Katie Shoneman, and here are this week's upcoming events and announcements for the Fort Osage School District. The district is searching for substitute teachers. Applicants must be eligible for a Missouri Substitute Certificate. The requirements for substitute certificates are 60 college credits and a clear background check. Interested applicants should apply at https semicolon forward slash forward slash forosage dot T ed K twelve dot com for forward slash higher forward slash index dot ASPX. Osage Show Middle School teacher Miss Deborah Fremo has submitted a project to the Sonic Lemonade for Learning Foundation. She is asking the, for the funding of Sonic for Logitech he headsets, two trip light extension cords, six cables, eight surge protectors, power extension cords, and Sharpie permanent markers. You can vote for her project at www.limadesforlearning.com forward slash projects forward slash 16576636. Holiday Assistant Link Caring Communities and the District are offering holiday assistance during the 2015 holiday season. To qualify, families must meet certain income requirements and volunteer for three hours at Fort Osage Elementary School or Link event before December 7th. Families can sign up October 19th through November 6th by contacting the elementary schools. The school district is bringing awareness to disability that students may face as they attend school. The month of October kicks off disability awareness. Please go online and visit tinyurl.com forward slash FOSD disability awareness. Here you will find information about a variety of disabilities and resources to help deal with them. Each month will feature a different disability awareness, so check the site for more information and help bring ability to a disability. <clears throat> we'll be right back with more news from around the district after this message. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. The high school football team participated in last Saturday's Walk for Type 1 Diabetes at Arrowhead Stadium in support of the coach's son. When the boys showed up with their jerseys on, an Indian Trail students asked if they would pose for a photo with him. It's great to see our athletes out in the community and being role models for younger students. Many Indian Trail students and groups walked in the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fun Walk for Diabetes this past weekend at Arrowhead Stadium in support of fellow scouts who have type 1 diabetes. On Thursday, October 15th from 4 to 6 p.m., OTMS had teachers available for tutoring at Buckner Mid-Continent Library. This was the first and quarterly series of tutoring nights throughout the community. The Fort Osage Education Foundation held their second annual Red Barn Bash on Saturday, October 10th at Sibley Orchard in Cider Mill. Thanks to everyone who came out for dinner, dancing, and a silent auction, the foundation was able to raise $10,000 for the students and staff. 
The Career and Technology Center is hosting an expo on November 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. Families with students in the 8th through 11th grades are invited to come explore the 14 programs, meet students and instructors, participate in interactive events, and much more. Door prizes will be given every 15 minutes, including grand prizes of a tablet and a USB Bluetooth drive. Here are some events for the the coming weeks throughout the district. We'll have this past week's sports report after these messages from our sponsors. The Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers you a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Enjoy refreshments from their full service snack bar and then relax in one of their 8 theaters featuring comfortable roomy seating. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. Visit the store to choose from thousands of designs to get digitally printed on shirts, hoodies, jerseys, and more. You can get apparel for your friends, family, clubs, and businesses. There are no setup or design fees and no minimums, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you want. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Suite D in Independence. Hey everybody, I'm Kayla Gross with this week's KFOI Sports Recap. The varsity football team suffered its first loss of the season and the first loss during the regular season in three years to Liberty North, 21-14. The two scores both involved Skylar Thompson. The first came on the opening drive when he hit Bailey Williamson on a 32-yard touchdown pass. The second came on a scramble that ended up with Thompson finding pay dirt from five yards out. Bryce Richardson came up big with three interceptions on the night, two in the first half and one in the third quarter. The Indians finished the regular season on the road against Raytown at 7 p.m. this Friday. Varsity softball player Paige Hayden was named to the first team all-district team for her outstanding play in the district tournament. Marina Rios is KFOI Student Athlete of the Week. Marina was nominated by head girls coach Joy Leslie for being the top girls finisher at the district tournament. Marina's favorite subject in school is science. Her favorite teacher is Jennifer Dobbendeek, and, her, and she has a GPA of 4.0476. Congratulations, Marina. We'll be right back after these messages from the NFHS Network. It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much, and now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night and um, it was a punt return. And I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And of course I showed all my family members and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved, they feel important, and by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. Welcome back. The varsity and JV cross-country teams ran in the conference meet at Liberty North on October 10th. Devin Schreier medaled and led the boys varsity team with the 15th place finish. Healy Alvis garnered first team all-conference with her girls varsity 5th place finish. Hayden Astry took 13th for the JV boys. The boys varsity soccer team won their fourth game in a row with a 2 to nothing win over Raytown on October 12th. Jack DiPino and Jake Lammering scored the two Indian goals and Jeff Bostwick had seven saves to earn the shutout. The JV won 2-1 with goals from Pablo Rigg and Julius Schnokel. Boys varsity soccer team then won 3-0 over Staley on October 13th. Goals by Keegan Lamring, Abasi Torres, 
and Noah Smith sealed the win. Jeff Bostwick earned his fourth shutout in five games. The JV tied 0-0 with the Falcons. Yernuez Decker earned the shutout. The varsity squad then hosted the Northmen from Oak Park on October 15th for senior night. The Indians lost 3-2 in a hard-fought match, snapping their five-game win streak. Jack DiPino earned the first goal, and Abasti Torres hit the second one. The Indians are now 4-4 four four in conference and 8-10-1 and one overall. The JV lost to the Northmen 2-1 to, to move to 9-6-2 on the season. I'll be right back in a moment with the rest of the sport. Hey Fort Osage Indians, Matt Mitchell here down at Culver's. Welcome back to another great school year. We're super excited to be a broadcast sponsor for your broadcast group at Fort Osage this year. And we just want to let you know to get the year started, we want you to, on Friday nights, know that you can wear any Indians gear, whether it's a hat, a shirt, whatever it is that says your school name on it, come by Culver's anytime between five and close, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Come in for a delicious butter burger or some frozen custard, whether it's in Blue Springs or off I-70 on Little Blue Parkway. With that gear, you'll get 10% off your order. Thanks a lot. Can't wait to see you. Welcome back. The varsity volleyball team defeated the William Christman Bears on October 13th on senior night, 25-19 and 25-14. Seniors Fallon Little, Emily Youngmeyer, Shelby Smith, and Caitlin Newberry all had excellent games in their last home game. Fallon Little struck the heart of the Bears' defense with this kill from the first set. Emily Youngmeyer blocked well up front to help shut down the Bears, while Shelby Smith had outside hits that found open areas of the court. Caitlin Newberry added ace serves like this one as the Indians picked up their fifth win on the season. The varsity then lost to Liberty North October 15th, 23-25 and 10-25. Fallon Little had seven kills and Emily Youngmeyer had 16 digs. The JV beat the Eagles in three sets, 16-25, 25-21, and 15-9. That's all for your sports recap. I'm Kayla Gross. Thanks, Kayla. If you have any Fort Osage news and information you would like to share on KFOI Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Merithew at bmerithew at fortosage.net or Fortosage District PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fortosage.net. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Thanks for watching KFOY Weekly News on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Universe Channel 99. We'll see you next time.